This is our cat fusion coupler. In the past, we've had uh, HPL couplers, or horizontal pin lock couplers, meaning the pin actually comes out the side. When that pin wears, uh, as time goes on, it gets pretty sloppy. Uh, we've kind of redesigned that coupler. Uh, now we have, it's more of a wedge lock style. So the wedge, when you connect the, the bucket to the, or the work tool to the, the coupler, the wedge comes down, okay, and it always stays tight. So as that wedge wears, it just goes down a little bit further. So you don't have that looseness or, or slop that you would have in a, a horizontal pin, cup, pin lock coupler. Uh, the other great feature about this coupler is it's, it's a zero offset coupler. So we all know that uh, breakout forces greatly decrease the farther the, your weight out is from the, the uh, center of gravity of the machine. With this coupler, it sits further back. It's more of a zero offset. So it would be very similar to just having a bucket connected directly to the, uh, the loader arms on this machine. We've also redesigned the front end of this machine. This is a 950. Uh, 950 and 962 have this front end redesign. Typically, or at least in the past, we used to have, uh, you know, th these wheel loaders were, they were bucket machines, so they were always loading dirt. Over time, that has changed, and, you know, a lot of these machines are on sewer and water jobs, so they're putting forks on these machines to, to haul pipe back and forth. Um, the problem with the, the Z-Bar linkage, how we had it designed, was it was a little bit difficult to see the, the, the forks. So we kind of redesigned this, made this a little bit straighter. We also took the, the torque tube here in the middle, put it down further. So when you do have forks on these machines, it's a lot easier to see uh, to the fork tines. On this 950, we have a uh, standard camera uh, with uh, the Tier 4 solution. These machines are growing taller. It's a little more difficult to see straight out the back. Um, we still have all the mirrors and, and safety features to it. But with this camera, it allows you to see right behind you. With our new clamshell design, it allows easy access to the back of the machine. It has gas, strut to, uh, gas struts to, uh, so that the, the, the clamshell won't fall, but I don't have to raise the whole hood in order to get to, to this back piece. You can fill the fuel from right here, okay? And easy to clean out radiators. Open that up, put a wand in there, fairly easy to clean out, stackable radiators. Your jump start receptacle right here, your master switch right here, and this is for the hood. Push that up and the hood begins to raise. This is the Caterpillar Emissions Module. One of our key drivers to designing this, uh, this Tier 4 solution was that it would be seamless to the operators. The operators should never even know what's going on. Uh, make no inputs to the machine in order to, uh, to, to regenerate the, uh, the DPF. So with our system, this machine looks for different parameters. It looks for uh, park brake on first. It looks for at an idle. Okay, if that parameter is met and it's been sitting there for five minutes and the machine needs to regenerate and burn out the DPF, then it will automatically start. The operator does not have to be in the seat to start it, it just automatically will start. Now on days where, where the machine is running pretty hard, the system will look for more than 70% DPF plug and it will, regardless of whether the machine's parked or not, it knows it needs to regen it will actually regen on the fly. So the operator will see a light come on in the dash, a yellow light, and that's only telling him that this machine is regenerating. Everything else, like I said, should be seamless to the operator. He doesn't have to turn it on, he doesn't have to turn it off. The machine will do it all on its own. We've redesigned uh, the ingress-egress access to this machine. You'll notice that there is a, a uh, angle here to climb up into the machine. The door actually opens from the opposite side. Opening from the opposite side allows us to have one more uh, handhold. You always want three points of contact when climbing in, in and out of a machine, so this provides that extra handhold. The 950 and the 962 both have steering wheels. 
but the 966 through 980 have a stick steering mechanism. The stick steering mechanism sits up here. It comes down and has the ability to steer with just a stick. That really opens up the front end of the machine uh, for better visibility. Another key feature of this machine is the membrane buttons on the right post. Each one of these buttons, the, the symbol is not painted on the button. It actually goes all the way through the button. So the more I push on these buttons, even with gloves, I will not rub the, the symbol off. We do have one special button on this machine, and it is the question mark. Push the question mark, all of my lights will light up. Then I can push the one that I do not know what it is. It will not turn on, but I push that. And on the front console, it will tell me exactly what that button does. Great feature for those who are just getting into this machine and trying to figure out what all these buttons are.